Okay, I'm gonna do our outer LED placements first. What I do is I just arbitrarily set a value. In this case, I use 80 millimeter. And you'll notice I've got the blade laid up against my grid in the background, so the trailing edge is along there. What I'm going to do is put the calipers in line with the tape. I'll put one tip on the line. So what you see on the far right where my thumb is motioning towards is on the yellow line. I'm going to take this tip of the calipers. I'm going to scribe a mark in the copper. That's where the first LED is going to go. Next blade. Again, line up the trailing edge. Line up the tip out here. Bring my calipers over the copper tape. Set the tip of the caliper in line with the tape on the line on the grid. Again, scribe a small indentation in the copper. Let's see if we can bring this up here a little closer. And see if we can't work with the reflection there. You can see it just a little bit. So that's 80 millimeters on both of them. So what I'm going to do on the next thing to mark my next LED over, uh, me personally, when I build them, I don't, I open it up a little bit further. I'm going to take this to 96. Hey, look at that. Couldn't do that again if I tried. So now I'm going to start with this mark. Set my calipers on that. I'll make another mark. So there and there is where my first two green LEDs are going on the top side of this blade. Come over to this blade again. Caliper still set. Here's my first mark. Set it on there. Scribe a mark. Now I've got the first two spots where I'm going to... Next what we're going to do is we're going to flip over the blade and do the same thing on the bottom. So for this time I'm going to increase the distance from the tip. So from the tip this time to where that's at, I'm actually going to use that number 96. I'm going to change it by 16 mil. The idea is once you get done you're going to have spacing like this. So if I'm not talking out my butt too much, and I remember what I did last time. Yeah, those are right about 16, 16 millimeter in spacing. One thing I'm going to do here real quick is with a Sharpie, I'm just going to make little black tick marks. Just so I know. So I don't want to strain my eyes looking for that uh, scribed line in the copper foil. Alright, so this is top side. Okay, bottom side of the blade again. Trailing edge on the line on the mat. Caliper set at 96. In line. Set the point of the calipers. Scribe a mark. Hit mark with said Sharpie. Next blade, same technique. Trailing edge. Bring it up. One thing to note when you're doing this, use my pointer over here, when you're touching that line, whether you're going on the inside or the outside or center line, you know, make sure you do it the same. Because if you don't, you'll end up with LEDs that uh, don't track in quite the exact same arc. So try to use a repeatable technique on everything. Again, describe my mark on the copper. Mark it with a sharpie. Okay, so top side, if we recall, 
we use a distance of 96 between those marks but we were 80 from the tip I'll do the same thing on the bottom I'm going to use the same 96 number land that there scribe a mark mark it back to the other blade mark it so now if I take the end of my blades and let's get this in try to get this in view for the camera here Okay, if we look here, you'll note I've got the tips of the blades lined up here. And I'm going to slide the camera across here. I'm going to take a look at where our LEDs are marked. So the back blade, we're looking at the top of it. The bottom blade, we're looking at the bottom. LED, come down, over, LED on the bottom. Top side, LED down over LED on the bottom. So we'll have two green LEDs on the top will be the outer two discs and then on the bottom side will be the inner two. If we were to flip our blades over, line them up again. We'll see if we can do this a little different this time. Trying to show here that two black marks there, there in alignment, tips are in alignment. Same thing again on the inside. This is one of these things measure two, three times.